In this video we will be looking at two easy ways to remove mods in GTA 5. In the first method, we will be selecting only the modded files inside the game folder and then delete them. In the second method, we will be taking a reverse approach. We delete everything, except a few bigger files, and then verify to download the missing files. After showing both the methods, I will suggest which one is better for you. Welcome to the GTA Gamer channel. Before we begin the process, make sure that you can see hidden files. Go to the View tab on the top and tick the Hidden Items checkbox. Let's begin with the first method. You need to select only the files that are related to modding. If you are a beginner, you might not know which of these files are related to mods. So here is a screenshot of the vanilla GTA folder. Compare your game folder with this image and delete any extra files that you see. Once the deletion is complete, go to the Steam Launcher. Right-click on GTA 5 and select Properties. Navigate to the Local Files tab and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Please note that verification is mandatory after removing mods. Skipping this step will lead to an error, Gen Invalid while launching the game. Verification is complete. You can launch the game. The game is working fine and is now vanilla. The modded car I used before was also removed from the game. Removing mods using this first method is easy. You just need to know which files to delete and it should take you around 10 to 15 minutes for the entire process. But what if I say, there is a much more easier way, like a shortcut for removing mods. Let me introduce to you the second method. This little trick is what I use whenever I need to remove mods. Open your game folder and press Ctrl plus the A key on your keyboard. That will select all the files. Now hold the Ctrl key and use your mouse to deselect the following x64 folder, update folder, and all the RPF files. We are deselecting only these because they are big in size and we don't want to re-download them. You can delete the remaining ones. After deleting the files, open the Steam Launcher. Just like before, go to the GTA 5 properties local files tab and click on verify integrity of game files wait for a few minutes verification has been completed 15 files have been missing from the game folder once you click on the close button the launcher will re-download those files as you can see, the missing small files are around 277 megabytes. That's all you need for this method. Downloads are complete. Let's launch the game and test if it's working. Everything is working great. So which method should you use? If you want to take the safe route, go with the first method of comparing and deleting only the modded files. The chances of accidentally deleting the important game files is very less in this method. Use the second method if you can handle the risks involved. 
The advantage of the second method is that you don't even need to know which files are related to mods. Also, no need to compare with a vanilla GTA folder like we did in the first method, so it takes less time. But there is a chance where you might forget to uncheck a big folder and it gets deleted. Of course you can re-download it, but it takes a lot of time. Any file you delete in the game folder, you just need to verify to recover it. If you have any more doubts on removing mods, feel free to comment below and I will answer your questions. Please consider giving a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching the video.